So Francois, one of the uh, one of the assumptions in the report is that uh, domestic manufacture gets fairly robustly uh, displaced. And that has significant social and economic consequences. Yeah, Adrian. Um, w what we've tried to do in the report is um, find a balance between sketching a scenario that would um, measure the impact if we have you know, imports starting to substitute domestic cement production. And uh, w what we did in the, in the scenario analysis, uh, firstly, we sketched the contribution of PPC in terms of the national economy and the provincial economies. We did that using you know, Leontief's method of IO tables and then going to a SAM, a social accounting matrix, and then looking at the uh, uh, um, uh, detailed expenditure line items from PPC, which is confidential, put it all into a, in, into a pot. And what came out of that uh, when we ran the scenario is that um, employment and, um, and, and complexity in the provincial economies of the Western Cape and the Eastern Cape would be decimated mm -hmm. If, if, if the scenario were to actually you know, um, um, occur. But I think, let's Why? just... Well, for the simple reason is that it is significantly less complex of an activity to import a final product and just distribute that as opposed to running a business which has access to limestone, which is incredibly energy intensive, which is a lot of skills in order to produce cement from the raw materials. There's technology, there are people, there are processes, there's lots of inputs, there's lots of output beyond just a, 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 a pure cement. And therefore, there's lots of skills requirements. And if we, if we, if we um, um, uh, uh, narrow the, the value chain in the cement production process just going to imports, we will lose the complexity of those activities. We know that this matters to economic growth because we know from the literature that there's very good empirical evidence that talks about um, the more diverse of, of, of skill sets that we have in a country, the greater our ability is to produce higher levels of complex products and services. We can't do that if we lose a certain skill set. And if we go, the modeling clearly showed us that if we go into in this direction, we, we stand to lose some skills in the economy. We've already lost an enormous amount of skills in the economy. Do we really want to take risks of losing more skills? Because our industrial productive capacity becomes then so narrow that but we will become so specialized. Not good at this? How, hang on a second. But we are good at this. And we are very good at this. What does it take to make cement? And why are we here today? We're here because the cement industry has been decimated from both sides, from the supply side and from the demand side. From the supply side, two things are required to make cement. It's limestone and electricity. We still have limestone left. Do we spend in South Africa? Yes, we spend. What do we spend on? We're not building things, but we're paying salaries. It's not as if we don't have the money. We have the money. But we're not spending it on building things, especially at the public level. And we know from, from your work as well, that if public sector were to lead in terms of infrastructure uh, uh, um, expenditure, that, uh, that private sector will follow. Um, but we need to create the correct environment, a conducive environment that allows producers to, com to produce and to, and to trade across borders in a competitive way. We have reduced the uh, pr uh, especially energy intensive producers ability in South Africa in order to be competitive. And what, the reason we are here today is because we've decimated this industry from the supply and then from the demand side. Uh, so uh, is protection a good thing? Is it a bad thing? It, it can be a good thing provided some economic reforms, provided it's temporary, and some provided some economic reforms are taking place while the protection is in place. But we will be here next year again if we don't see reforms. When Encyclopedia Britannica falls over, it's not Encyclopedia Britannica shareholders that go down like a forest, a, a tree in a forest with no one else listening. Uh, it takes all of the undergrowth and neighboring trees with it. It's the printers, the binders, the editors, the gold foil uh, on the spine that goes too. And that's my understanding is that's what a social accounting matrix measures. I don't know how long the value chain is of, 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 of the Britannica encyclopedias, but what we have established, the value chain for producing cement in South Africa is very long. And because it's very long and it's very capital intensive, the multiplier effect is very high. 
And because it's very high, if you start to fiddle with this industry, the, the ripple effect throughout the economy at the direct, at the indirect and at the induced level will be severe at an economic level and more so at the socio-economic level, especially in areas which cannot afford it. And what the, uh, this point you make about multipliers shouldn't be lost because uh, that multiplier is in the order of seven times, uh, which makes it not just a, a high impact, but one of the highest impact multipliers. And there's, there's always great conversation and debate about the level of a multiplier. We shouldn't be too concerned whether the multiplier is high, very high, medium or low. That's really not the, the idea here. The idea here is to sketch a picture that if you pull a string, there will be ramifications. And when we pull this particular string, there's lots of ramifications and none of them are good. So, um, and why are the multipliers so high for this industry? Because it's very capital intensive, it's skills intensive, uh, it's labor intensive, um, and uh, uh, b b b PPC is so well embedded into the South African economy at such a, a wide variety of, of, of levels and industries that if we were to start fiddling with their ability to exist, and I shouldn't, I shouldn't, we did the study on, on one company, but this is true for the industry, I should rather say. If we fiddle with this, um, the dominoes will, there will be lots of dominoes that fall for a very long time, and we can't afford the dominoes to fall, uh, Adrian.